Anna, welcome to the Barefoot Interview and thank you for joining us. Uh, you're coming out to Adelaide for Wome Adelaide in a few weeks' time in March and Adelaide audiences are really excited to hear a little bit about you. So what inspired you to be a singer? Were you a, a performer from an early age? Yes, since I was very young that I have um, this contact with music because I I grew up listening to my parents singing. So, and, and my father used to play guitar. And since I was really young that I felt that I could sing. And for example, I had a five years old and in the, all the weekends spent with my parents and their friends singing and playing, they always invited me to, to sing a song. Have you always worked in the Fado style or have you tried other forms of singing too? When I started to sing, listening to my parents, it was Fado and more Portuguese traditional music. But then I started to grow up and to uh, pay attention to other kinds of music and I, I, I sang like soul, like um, Brazilian music, but I always had a special feeling about Fado. Australian audiences, you know, might not be familiar with with Fado. Can you describe what the style of Fado is like for us? People used to call it Portuguese blues. It's all about soul and about uh, sharing feelings with with people and sharing experiences of life. So all the lyrics are all very profound because they, when they speak about those experiences, they speak about all the feelings involved. Fado is the style or the technique, but within that framework, you can be very flexible about what story you want to tell. I, I guess you, you must often feel inspired to tell stories that fit within that framework. Yeah, that's um, true. You, you write all of your own music, do you? No, I have um, a few poets writing for me and a few composers too. And some of the lyrics are like poets and Pessoa or our, our great poets. So, because we have this tradition of, of putting new lyrics on the traditional fathers. The traditional fathers are uh, very old melodies with a, with a special structure. We call it squadrish or quintilish. So, uh, it's, it's, uh, quadrish, it's, it's a Portuguese form, form of poem. And those traditional fathers, they, they have this, is structured so they can be quadrish, composed by quadrus, or composed by sestilis, for example. I kind of read that there's two different ways for the audience to thank the artist. They can either thank the artist by clapping at the end of the song or by mm -hmm. clearing their throat, making a throat clearing noise uh, in recognition. Mm -hmm. Who um, who would you say have been your, your mentors, your guides in the style of Fado? Uh, Amalia Rodriguez. She is the, the soul of fun um, because she had all the characteristics to be the, the greatest singer with a, a beautiful soul, a beautiful color her, of her voice, beautiful, and a huge range. <laughs> so she had she had all the characteristics to be the, the, the greatest singer. The greatest. Wow. In 2007, you, you sang with Mick Jagger at the Rolling Stones concert in Lisbon. How did how did that come about? What was that experience like? Oh, it was it was great. You know, I had this contact with them because they have they have a project, Stones Project, uh -huh. with with many with many singers from different areas like Nora Jones, like Cheryl Crow, who sing songs from the Stones, but with their own style. And one of the 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 Mickey Pons like Mick Jagger, Keith Richards and Ronnie Wood and Charlie Watts, they all play one instrument with one of the the singers on the project. And the the producer is the saxophone player, the Tim Reed. And they wanted to have a they did a, a Stones World with world music. Okay. And they wanted to have a father voice on the on the project too. So they heard a few CDs and I had the uh, lucky to to be chosen. So then, when they came to Portugal to to the concert in mm -hmm. in Alvalade in the stadium, they they came to a traditional father house and they uh, asked to to listen to me on a traditional father house. So after the concert that night in the father house, they invited me to to go to see them. 
performing in the in the stadium in the day before the day after, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. And then when I was arriving to the stadium I got this phone call that they wanted to invite me to sing with them one of the songs I recorded in this project. So it was an amazing experience to me. That's amazing. You mentioned um just now you mentioned Fado houses. Is this I I've seen this reference quite a lot in my research. Is this a club which is traditionally only for Fado singing? It's a club where you sing very close to the audience without amplification. Like a so cabaret I, style, yeah. maybe? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That sounds great. Mm-hmm. In, um, in 2009, there were some rumours that you were going to collaborate with Prince, and there's some video of you singing live with him playing on a guitar. I'm wondering, you know, can we expect uh, something new, maybe incorporating a fado and a rock style anytime soon? Mm, I don't know. You don't know? Is it a secret, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> no, there have been a few experiences uh, with uh, with him, and they have been amazing for me, and and very important actually to my develop as an interpret- interpreter. See, you've completed four albums. You've been nominated for an Edison Award. You won an Amalia Award for Best Performer of Fado in 2007. And just last year, you won a Portuguese Golden Globe for Best Individual Musical Performance. What would you say has been the highlight of your career so far? It's it's hard to choose, to be honest. It's everything, maybe? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I read in another interview, you said that for you, one of the most important things is just the recognition of the work. It's not so much the future, but just the respect and the recognition Yes, 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 that's true. Your last album release was in 2009. Have you been working on a fifth album or a new, some new work? Yes, I'm already, <laughs> I'm already preparing the new one. And do you have any ideas sort of when that will come to completion or do you just take it as it comes and then decide when it feels like it's finished? Mm, yes, probably, I think it will be finished in the end of this year, yes. Wonderful. We'll look forward to that. You've toured lots of countries of the world. You've taken your music all over the place. Will this be the first time that you've performed in Australia? Right. What uh, What can the Wyoming Adelaide audiences expect from your tour in a few weeks' time? I know that I've read that you are never sure, even yourself, what songs you're going to sing until just before you go on stage. Do you know what you're going to bring to your Australian tour? Yes, actually, I I know that I want to show the last song from the last last album, but of course I always sing the the most popular ones from the the previous albums. But I have this like an idea that I I like to to have that freedom to to leave the the environment to to choose what song yeah can I play. So I, I think to leave this. Uh, this freedom for the moment it's very important because the father it's it's about that. Yeah. Do you play with the same ensemble, are the same band members all the time? I do. Yes. So they understand your freedom. Yes, yes. That it's very important. That's good that you can collaborate like that. Well we we are almost completely out of time and and thank you so much for speaking with me. It's been a pleasure having you on and just I mean it's only a really <laughs> short interview and a small sample of what you've got to offer but we're so looking forward to having you come to Adelaide in a few weeks time and we hope that we can put on a good show some good weather and have you been to a WOMAD festival before in another country no no it's the first time too Ah, oh, wonderful well I think you're really going to enjoy it WOMAD is such a, a big beautiful celebration of music and so many people from all over the world coming together to celebrate and this city, we love a festival, we love live art, and we love Worm Adelaide. So we look forward to having you come, and thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you very much, Paul.